Welcome lads, we're back for another video. Today we are looking at 83 rated, first in form, dress, Mertens. He's got 90 pace, 84 shooting, 84 passing, 89 dribbling and 60 physical. He's got high attacking work rates, low defensive. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves. I love this guy, he's so quick and he's such a good dribbler. And I think he plays even better out on the wing than he does in his regular goal car that's a cam. He's got good shooting, can pass the ball. He's a little bit weak, but apart from that, he is a solid player. Those work rates mean he doesn't drop back. He's one of the best wingers I've played with in this whole game, in my opinion. But now, let's move on to some in-game stats. Looking at his skill stats, he's got great ball control at 89, 89 dribbling, 81 finishing, 85 shot power, 85 short passing, 88 long shots, and 77 long passing. Now, looking at his physical stats, he's got okay attacking positioning at 81, 93 acceleration, 95 agility, 45 strength, 86 sprint speed. I mean, when it comes to just dribbling, not even using skill moves, just drifting in and out of players, this guy is exceptionally good at that. But now let's move on to some highlights. As we can see here, he's just going to get in and he's always going to get in because he's so quick. He's always going to create chances, this guy. He scores a lot of goals for me. I believe I played around five games with him. He scored around nine goals, which for a winger is good returns, but not incredible returns. You know, there are some players I get three goals a game with. He wasn't that kind of guy. You know, his finishing was solid, but it wasn't amazing. And the strength thing is not really an issue, if you ask me, because... His agility is so high and he's got the great dribbling, the great skill moves. It doesn't really matter. I mean, that's a great move. Just a great run, puts it away. Lovely little turn here. He's a very complete winger. There aren't many things wrong with him. I couldn't find, frankly. I mean, yeah, the strength that I will go back to because he is very weak. And if he comes up against a fast fullback or a defender that is strong, because most defenders are strong, you might have a little bit of trouble, but I didn't really think it was troubling. Because of the things I said earlier, the great pace and the great agility. I mean, this guy is just rapid. He's always been rapid. He's got a cam, gold card, and a right wing card. So if you've played with those, this guy is just a better version of this. He was moderately expensive, frankly, but I thought he was worth the coins. If you ask my personal opinion on that, he was worth what I paid for him. Because he cost a fair change, you know, but he was an amazing player. And considering that uh, there's a hazard in this week's Team of the Week, he's just a cheaper. And in my opinion, now granted, I've not played with the inform hazard, but I, I have a feeling that this guy is frankly better because of his pace and his amazing agility, you know, and for the price. I mean, what? Regular gold, not regular gold hazard. You can get regular gold hazard for more money than this guy. And this guy is better in my opinion. Anyways, we're going to just talk about what this guy does overall and i feel that this guy runs the pitch runs into the channels creates chances exceptionally well but is he worth it in a division one squad i would say yes this guy will terrorize defenses he's that good anyways that's the end of this video make sure to drop a like drop a comment follow me on twitter at people wisdom and make sure you subscribe to catch all my videos and i'm out bye bye